This is Dr. Catherine Collins. I don't know if anyone will ever hear this. It's all over. I'm the only one left. Hi guys and welcome into the Roxy Report. This is Everybody's Gone to the Rapture, a video game that came out a couple of years ago now. Um, but I wanted to play this because it's absolutely stunning and it looks beautiful. Also, it takes place in a village that is very, very similar to mine. So I thought it'd be quite of interesting to play this and let you guys see what my daily life is like. A apart from the whole rapture thing. Okay, so I can hear the radio right now. Let let let's see what she has to say. I'm going to continue to broadcast for as long as I am able. If I'm right, you should be able to pick up the signal right across the valley. The event has left markers. We don't understand it yet. We're going to keep working to try and understand it. You can use them to find what you're looking for. The answers... They're all here. The answers are in the light. Well, that's not ominous in any way. I, I got to like the fact that the radio is named after me. <laughs> RC, Roxy Clark. Okay, so, uh, is there anything... Oh, very nice. You've got some lovely towels in there. Um, that's nice. Oh, wow, look at this. So this game takes place in the 80s. Um, as you guys can see by the technology. <laughs> I, got to, I got to love stuff like that. The attention to detail in this is absolutely incredible. And I know that a lot of people didn't particularly like this game because it was pretty much just a walking simulator. Um, but I love the attention to detail. Oh my god, look at this! This is like an old, like, portable phone. That's so cool. This is a special announcement by the Emergency Measures Committee. Due to exceptional circumstances, radio and television in this area has been brought under the control of the EMC as per the Crisis Preparedness and Action Bill of 1982. Oh my god, 1982. Keep radio and television on at all times. Ah, oh, it's so cool. Yeah, it's it's really impressive. Oh wow, look at that! Look at that! Just look at that. Okay, I, I'm 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 in love with this game. Uh, <laughs> I do really like this. Oh, look at this old transit van. Oh, that's nice. Or is that a Bedford? What are those? I'm trying to do my job. You two will be the only staff on site for this rotation. I'm just saying, if the main gate's power fails, then there's no way in or out of the observatory. That's why there are backup generators. Jesus, why the hell are we even discussing this? Just don't you come running to me if you get locked in. If we get locked in, we won't be able to come running to you, will we? You let us worry about the clever stuff and you can concentrate on sweeping up leaves and changing light bulbs. Happy? Now piss off. Ah, so. That was unnecessary. Just because you're angry with me doesn't mean you have to take it out on everyone else. Kate, can we just talk about this? No, Stephen, I'm done. I just want to get out of this place, and tonight is our best chance of doing that. You prep the arrays, I'm heading up to Tower 6. Kate. I love you. You know that, right? Yeah, I know that. Come on, let's get started. 
So I suppose the best way to describe this is kind of like an audio drama. Uh, if you've ever listened to, uh, what's the name of that? Ar- the Archers. Yeah, that's it. There's a BBC radio station called The Archers or a BBC radio show. And it's an audio drama. It's like a full on soap or um, uh, dra- any drama, but it's all done on the radio. Uh, so that's kind of the best way to describe this, and it feels very British. This feels very Archers, if you've ever listened to that before. Honestly, this looks like my village. This is so bizarre. Um, so this is Jeremy. We basically, over the, over the course of this game, we follow people through their journey and see where they went and what happened to them. So there's some people over here. I suppose from that we can assume that they really are serious about this whole quarantine thing. If Mrs. Boughton wandered off that way before they closed the road, I suspect we'll never find her. Not until this whole thing blows over. Well, it's more than a little odd. I mean, this is Yorton, for goodness sake. There was no need for them to be so rude. Well, if they are so concerned that they are willing to close off the roads, I suspect they would argue that there is every need. What is certain is that for the time being, none of us are going anywhere. But he had a rifle, a soldier with a rifle, in Shropshire. The world's gone stark raving mad. I've a good mind to write to my MP. You do that, Bob, and I'll personally deliver it for you once this blockade is removed anyway. Come on, Bob. I can't spend all day chasing pensioners around the valley. The surgery won't open itself. I need to grab some paracetamol when we get back as well. Cracking headache all of a sudden. This whole world is so detailed in terms of kind of everything that's around and like the uh the little attentions to detail like of course this blockade the uh, we're, we're basically told through this story that the uh army or the, the council or government's basically blocked this town off um they are not allowed to leave they're being held by gunpoint and that's scary if that ever happened to the town you were living in that would be uh, pretty terrifying who's that hello Kate, if you can hear this, you need to shut down the optical array. It's using the observatory as a conduit to reach us, and it started spreading its range beyond the valley. Kate, we can't afford to let it do that. It's getting stronger. I'm going to call Clive back, and I'm going to force him to order the strike. I just don't see what other choice we have. God knows Hello, if can you hear one. me? We need help. Who are you? Jesus, get off the floor! Get off the floor! Well, that's terrifying. Okay, we're just going to close that and, and run away. Ah, oh, look at this. Is that a maestro? Ah, oh, wow. I gotta love 80s slash early 90s vehicles in the UK. I gotta love them. Um, of course, this is a this is only a couple of years before I was born, so this is uh this is feeling extremely weird. <laughs> was walk on the pavement. And by the way, yes, in the UK you can cross roads. It's not it's not jaywalking. So. As long as there's nothing coming, you feel free to cross the road. Tim is a massive knobhead. <laughs> you can tell this is in England, can't you? Uh, Smith, uh, Derek, you massive dickhead wanker. Lovely. Uh, oh, uh, emergency meeting. Everyone is welcome. Uh, village hall tomorrow night at 7pm. Uh, flu quarantine. Uh, they are not telling us. Call Meg or Barb. <laughs> Don't be so hard on yourself. We've all had rejections. You haven't. <laughs> Come on. We'll look at the figures, tighten up the data, and resubmit. Your core idea is sound. You just got the number slightly wrong. Oh, don't patronize me. I'm not patronizing you. I think you are a brilliant man, Dr. Appleton. Listen. I'm here, right? We're together, you and me. The alignment event tomorrow. It's yours, okay? You saw the opportunity, you ran the numbers. Even if they can't see it. I'm proud of you. Is that supposed to make me feel better? See you then. Look on the bright side, uh, around here. (laughs) You're a hero. Prodigal son returns, right? I'm surprised they haven't erected a statue in your honor yet. (laughs) Oh, you can laugh all you want. But I'll bet the parish council have a subcommittee working on that right now. (laughs) 
the stars at night. Of course, this is uh, that's obviously a reference to that old TV show that used to be on with that guy with the with the monocle. Well, it's very sad that he passed away. Um, yeah, I love I love the old English pub. Close until further notice. We've got the flu. Please try the seventh whistler. We'll be back in business as soon as we're up and about. George and Helen Gables. Uh, yeah, that's that's not going to end well. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, here you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. But until next time, that's me. Out. Bye, guys.